Hi everyone, this is Heather Smith with Storyville Photography and today I'm going to be editing this image of my daughter and her bunny. Um, this was taken around sunset so we had really nice even lighting and it was really perfect and pretty out. So this is where we start and here is where we will finish. Um, the only thing I did before I started recording is I patch tooled out the stop sign um, and this lovely yellow holder and whatever this was and then I masked off of her because I did run over a little bit with a clone stamp. So where we will end and where we will begin. So let's get rid of, oops, get rid of that. And I'm going to run the image base like I did all of my um, photos here. Click on that. Make sure the light source is over your subject. And I'm going to crank this up. I want the edges nice and dark for this image. And as you can see, the Brighten Up blew out her dress. I don't want any parts of that. I can um, brighten up her skin tones later. But for now, I'm going to turn that off along with the color dazzle. I don't think we need that on here. But if we do, we can come back and fix it. So. This is the before and after on them. Next, I'm going to run the Storyville Wheat. It's going to add a nice matte finish to it. It's going to take out some of the yellows and make the grass look a lot nicer. So I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Let's see, that looks good. Turn these highlights way down, if not off. We'll just turn those off there and we will turn the dazzle up. We don't want that extra. Actually, maybe we'll just turn it down a little bit here. There. Um, I'm going to brush this matte off of her skin. So soft flat brush at 100% opacity. And it doesn't really matter if a little stays on her dress. That doesn't bother me. But try to get in really close if you can. You don't want a halo. Um, if you were doing this for a client, definitely take the time to make sure you don't brush any of the matte off that is on the background. Or it'll look really weird at the end. Okay, and that looks good to me. So, and if you wanted extra wheat, you could click this on. It's really strong at first, but you can play around with the slider. I am not going to use this for this image, so it goes back off. So, oops, here we go. So that's the before and after. Next, I'm going to work on this twisted mat. I really want this to look really, really dreamy and creamy and all that fun stuff. And with this, it is really easy to do. But... Um, actually, I'm going to have to flatten these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the eyeballs off on here. And you can't see from here, but I'm going to go all the way to the top into the layer mode and merge visible. So that will get rid of that. I want to use this twisted mat on the background layer. You can turn that back on. And if you are doing this at home, you can flatten your images first as well. So I'm going to click on the twist and mat, hit play. It's going to come on really crazy at first, um, but we will dial that back a ton. You see, <laughs> looks like she's in the twilight zone or something. So I'm going to click on this and start at a zero and just kind of see where my eye likes it. And that looks good to me. Just adds a little bit more um, blur and uh, just dreaminess to the overall image. Brush it completely off of your subject. You want your subject to stay in focus and really stand out. I would also brush this off the focal point here all the way across so it looks more realistic. Okay. Very subtle, but very pretty. 
Now, as you can see, she has taken on this orangey red tone with this. Um, I'm going to chalk it up to this color dazzle here. So I'm either going to turn it way down or off. We're going to turn it off for this image. And we'll have to do some more um, skin correcting as well. I'm going to turn these highlights down. I don't want her dress blown out. Again, we can go over the skin in a little bit here. And we're going to keep this dark edges again, like before, make sure the light is over the subject. I might even scale that in. And that looks good to me right there. See how easy this is guys. Um, let's go to the contrast. We're going to turn that down just a little bit. Okay. And that looks good to me. Um, add matte. We already had a nice matte finish. I think I'll keep some of this on, but not all of it. That looks good to me. Um, we can come back and paint some of it off of her or keep it on. I actually might just take some off right now. Zoom in. We'll leave a little on her skin, but not too much. Okay, and that looks good. So this is the before and after of the twisted matte. So the next thing I'm going to do is add a sun flare, which I like to do on most of my images. Let me scale it down so you guys can see it here. Okay, we're going to copy that um, and then paste it over here. I want to do it right on top. And we're going to select screen mode and move it up here. That looks good to me. Gaussian blur. I'm going to use the radius of 36 for this. You just don't want the line going across your image. I'm going to tone it down a little bit. And I don't know if I want to, I might keep a little bit of the light on her or we'll come back and I'll wipe it off a little bit later. So the, the sidewalk is a little bright for my liking, even after all the things that we have done to this. So I am going to grab um, a gradient and we'll keep it at 100, um, linear, hit OK. And we will go into soft light. And I only want this on the sidewalk. So I am going to invert the mask. Command I, get a soft white brush, 100% opacity, and just paint it on the sidewalk. We might have to drag that to the bottom. Let's see. Maybe into the image base. That looks more even. I like it there. So before, after, it's okay if a little spills over onto her dress. I am okay with that. Um, close that up. Okay, and that looks good to me. Now I'm happy with the tones and the light. Um, so I am going to work on correcting her skin. I am going to go into the Storyville Retouch and brighten her up a little bit. So brighten skin and eyes click on there. She's going to be very, very white at first, but we will dial that back. And as you can see, she's still pretty orange. We're going to take care of that. And that looks good to me. Maybe put a little bit in her hair and her bow. Bunny. Again, if you're doing this for clients, zoom in so there's no halo and you make sure you get every part that you want. I don't like that on the dress. We'll take that off. Okay. So now I'm going to zoom in really close and we're going to correct her skin. Play the skin color correction. Move this up here. Then. And we're going to go into the reduce red. Now her skin's going to look really murky for um, a couple minutes, guys, but this will do the trick, I promise you. Let me turn the opacity down a little and hit her face just a little bit. 
Okay, now we're going to scale that down. And that looks good to me. See the before and after, huge difference. We're going to add some yellow into her skin. So soft white brush, 100% opacity, and she's going to turn yellow, but we will dial that down quite a bit. So, um, and that's still too yellow. That looks good to me. Okay, so I'm going to close that up so you can see the that's the after, um, the bright, and the color correction, and this is before. And you can play around with the sliders all day long, guys, to see what you really like. I think I like it about there. And that does it. So easy. Um, I'll group this together for you. So this is the after and before. After and before. You can find all these actions in the sun flare at storyvillephotography.com. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.